Congratulations on the election, but we are also alive to the fact of what was being brought up in the Senate yesterday with regards to whether you're going to be impartial in this. Probably, what will this be and how will you conduct and it is not going to be a laundry service as somebody have been, as some people have been saying out there? Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, we've held our first meeting according to the standing orders. The standing orders provide that uh, the select committee will... Uh, hold its first sitting within 24 hours. We've done our elections. I want to take this opportunity to thank the membership of this committee for electing me as the chairperson and also electing Senator Abshiro Alake as the vice chairperson. Second, we've had uh, 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 various deliberations on how we're going to conduct uh, uh, the process uh, before us and we have considered uh, the matrix of activities and the hearing program. Uh, we have decided that we're going to conduct this process within the stipulated time as per the County Government Act. We are supposed to adjudicate this matter within 10 days and we have committed ourselves as uh, uh, members of this committee that we shall have a report before 26th June, that is Friday next week. Uh, second, I would also like to tell and notify the public that this committee is well constituted according to our standing orders. Standing order 75 provides for the House to either adopt a plenary uh, way of adjudicating this matter or a select committee. Yesterday, the uh, plenary through uh, uh, its democratic ways of conducting business agreed and adopted the select committee way. I wouldn't want to delve deep into the pros and cons of uh, going the committee way, but I want to assure Kenyans that this committee has membership which is competent, has membership whose integrity cannot be questioned, and we want to assure Kenyans that we are going to conduct this exercise with all fairness. We're going to be impartial, we're going to uh, uh, allow the disputants to come and uh, make their submissions in a fair way. And whatever resolution that this committee will come with will be free and fair to all parties. So I want to assure the people of Kirinyaga and Kenyans at large that this committee will not be compromised or will not be influenced by any other person who is not seated in this committee. Uh, we will also be alive to the fact that a member of parliament and a ranking member of ODM has already said that members of ODM have instructions to save Weguru. What would you speak to that? In the, even in the fact that you speak that you cannot be compromised, it seems like it's a fair complaint. I, I, I think uh, the, I'm not a member of ODM, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't answer. answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as, as a member of ODM, and you know how senior I am in that party, as uh, chairperson of election board, I can confirm that I have not even spoken to Baba for the last uh, several weeks. And I can assure you that we, he knows that he has uh, a team that is able to work, that is able to make judgment without necessarily having to be called by him as to how we can discharge justice to this republic. So I condemn those that are saying that uh, we have instruction, the Senate is independent, you cannot speak on behalf of the Senate. Mm. We are here as the senators that have been mandated by, uh, by, by the House, and I can assure you we will deliver justice. They should spare Baba from every other, every other comment saying that he has given directives. He has not given any directives. The issue of uh, uh, fairness, the people who have uh, been put in this committee uh, people of integrity, they have dealt with several other issues in the past and going forward I, there is nobody who is to have uh, any fear at all. And it's a committee that is going to work uh, without, uh, without a fear of intimidation because this is the only way we can work. You know, it is bad for people to go demonstrating out there without knowing how the committee is going to work. For any demonstration, they have 
organizers. We know that. There is no place that the people of Kerenyaga sat and uh, agreed that this is the position of Kerenyaga people. And those demonstrating are politicians, perhaps opposed to some situations. This committee is not going to be intimidated in any way. We are going to work independently. We are going to do independent investigations so that we can give justice to Kenyans, the Kerenyaga people, the accused uh, governor. Everybody is entitled to uh, justice, and we are going to do just that. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, vile inavyo tafakariwa na wananchi katika Kenya ni jambo baya kwa mtu yoyote kuweza ama ni kinyume cha sheria kwa mtu yoyote mambo ambayo yako ndani ya Senate na nakuwa yanaangaliwa yanachunguzwa ili ukweli uweze kujulikana itakuwa ni makosa sana kwa mtu kusema ya kwamba sisi tutakuwa kama muosho mmoja hiyo mimi nataka kusema na ikanusha kabisa ya kwamba hakuna kitu kama hicho si sote ni watu na heshima zetu na na hakika ya kwamba ukweli wa kina utajulikana wakati tukitoa uamuzi na wakenya wote watakuwa hali ya baina ya kwamba wanaweza kuangalia kesi tumeiamua namna gani nitapatia mheshimiwa Mazayo aseme jambo lakini kama mwenyekiti tu ningependa kusema kwamba hii kamati imepewa mamlaka na wabunge wa, 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 wa ambao wanakaa kwenye senate na sisi tunasema kwamba hatutashurutishwa na mtu yoyote kufanya kazi yetu. Tunaenda kufanya kazi hii kwa usawa na hakuna mtu yoyote ambaye atatushurutisha. Ningependa kukashifu wale wabunge wa bunge la kitaifa ambao wamekuwa mstari wa mbele kusema kwamba kuna msimamo fulani wa chama. Sisi hatufanyi kazi hapa kama vyama. Tunafanya kazi kama ile kamati ambayo imechaguliwa kuangalia swala hili la la Kirinyaga na hatutashurutishwa na mtu yote wala kuambiwa tupige kura la mlai ama tuchukue msimamo fulani we are independent na hatutakubali kwenda mwelekeo ambao walikuwa mwanza nitapatia mheshimiwa Mazayo eh na lake Senator Paul Mwangi Kiliomi Senator Paul Mwangi Senator Bishiro Alake Senator Paul Senator Alake Senator Bishiro Alake So we will count For Senator Bishiro Alake 1 For Senator Paul Mwangi Gidiomi 1 2 3 4 Honorable Senators having received the uh, tallies from the election of the Vice Chair I want to declare Senator Abshiro Alake as the duly elected Vice Chair to the position of the so uh, Special Committee on Impeachment of the Governor for Kirinyaga County Thank you uh, At this juncture Honorable Senators, we will go back to our agenda and I want to invite the chair elect to make his own remarks and uh, I don't know uh, the vice chair elect 
in his in her absentia maybe she'll make her remarks later but cheer for some karibu yeah uh thank you our presiding clerk first of all i want to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues for voting for me and giving me an opportunity to chair this very important committee uh at the onset i would like to note that this committee is uh, legally and well constituted i think standing order number 75 provides for the house to adopt a motion or reject a motion as to whether we shall uh, transact the business of a removal of a governor through a select committee or through the plenary uh yesterday the vote was done and we are here legally and therefore I would like to give confidence to our members that this is a legal process which is provided for in our standing orders nevertheless the focal attention is on us honorable members the whole country is watching us the stakes are too high we need to rise to the occasion i want to implore upon our members to remember that we are adjudicating this matter on behalf of the house and therefore we must rise to the occasion i want to assure the public and any interested parties that we shall conduct this process fairly we shall be impartial we shall treat all the disputants equally we shall give all the interested parties chance to appear before us so that they can present their submissions before us and we shall retreat to make a fair judgment i do not want to go deep into the uh, way we shall operate i believe it's part of our agenda today but above all i want to request the almighty god to give us wisdom when we are transacting this very important business thank you and may god bless us